So look, you've got a lot of heavy ballast weights from a crane, so how do you transport them? Well, the answer is to use a multi-axle ballast trailer. This model from WSI has a Volvo FH4 tractor, and it's hooked up to a 5-axle Goldhofer ballast trailer. It is a limited edition model, and it's in the colours of Lavage, which is a French crane and heavy haulage company. Out of the box there's not much to do except clunk click and join the ballast trailer up with the tractor and then the truck is tickety boo and ready to roll. The Volvo has a very nice detailed chassis and there are different tyres on the steering and driven axles. The Volvo cab looks really good, particularly because of the nice mesh grille at the front, and the graphics are very sharp, and there's a number plate at the front. Things are also very nice behind the cab with an excellent exhaust and nice tanks detailed. The detail on the Goldhofer trailer is very good, there are tanks and a spare wheel underneath, and the wheels look good with their painted centres. The deck has got nice replica timber plastic inlays. There's a white stripe down the edges, although on the review model it wasn't perfectly straight. But the detail at the back end is very good. We will start by firing up the Volvo and giving it a spin. And it rolls along well enough. As usual we'll get the giant hand crane and have a look underneath. And there is steering on the front axle but the range of movement is very small. Still something is better than... nothing. On the other hand the cab tilts well so you can see the Volvo engine underneath. And the mechanism also allows the cab to pose tilted. This Volvo also has one other feature, and that's an adjustable fifth wheel. Boldly and with determination we move on to the ballast trailer, and it seems to be engineered really well because it rolls very smoothly. Each of the axles has got its own independent sprung suspension, and a feature that works particularly well is the steering on the rear four axles. It's proportional with the rear axle steering the most, so when you push it around a curve, it corners very nicely. Another feature on the model is the landing legs which can be lowered and they have smooth looking pistons. And with the legs down they make a nice stable trailer. There is another working feature on the model and that concerns the first axle. And to reduce the tyre wear when it sits on your model shelf, you can tighten a screw and move a clip and raise it up out of service. The good thing is that the axle's got a decent amount of movement, so when it's properly clipped up, it doesn't rotate when the model is pushed along. Another feature, if you choose to have it, is deck posts, which can be put into the numerous holes on the deck, and you can arrange those how you want. As an alternative, you can seem to store them in the holder at the front, although it takes a bit of effort to get them to sit nicely. So, this is a ballast carrier, so let's put on some ballast. And to start off with we'll put on some 10 ton weights, in fact we'll add 8 of them. Or as an alternative we can have a different load which includes spreader plates and a hook. And then we'll add a counterweight tray and a few counterweights. Of course it would be nice if these were in lavage colours. Finally let's go large with some crawler crane pieces. And we'll start with a very large hook and then add on some big boom sections. Yep, it looks good. This is the second in the series of Extraordinary Loads. Here we've got a big gas generator to move and it needs some special supports. They have to be positioned to high accuracy and then we can load on the massive gas generator. And here the giant hand crane carefully lowers it into position. The exact weight of the load isn't known, but the ballast trailer seems to be able to handle it easily. This truck by WSI Models is another very good limited edition release. It looks very attractive in the colours of Lavage and would go well with a Lavage mobile crane. And there's a very good combination of details and features 
all of which add up to a model that's easy to rate as very good.